The young and the restless reveal that the weather was not good, but Ray was determined to drive back. Sharon also understands that the road to Chicago is extremely dangerous, but does not choose to advise him. Especially recently, the layer of fog is always dense, obscuring the view. Sharon and Chelsea were both concerned that Ray could not be reached, believing he was on some sort of bad luck. Even the fact that he was driving in a hurry, Victoria on the side was in a bad mood. She lost focus and drove the car, making things worse. Who is wrong in this accident? Is Ashton trying to hide something? When blaming Ray, Ray seemed to have tried ev- to avoid something but failed. Ashton seemed to be on something. Police are still investigating the cause of the accident. In the episode that airs on April 25th to the 29th, Chance will find an important piece of data that can help him a lot. Is it related to the traffic accident? Looks like Ashton is lying, as he always does. The screenwriter created an ending for Ray, but it was controversial. Ashton seems to be trying to protect Victoria, or is it just protecting him? Everyone knows that Ashton always finds a way to lie to people, so he does not receive trust. He said that he was following Victoria and accidentally saw the accident, and he rushes to check on her condition but forgets Ray is on the other side. It's extremely dangerous for both of them to drive in a dense fog and lose focus. Victoria veered off course, but things still didn't get better. Ray was exactly the one in the wrong for everything, and Ashton forcefully asserted. Ray appeared to be traveling at high speed, so his car sped into the ditch and lost his life. What really happened in the end? Because after all, Ray passed away and couldn't bring him back. In the April 25th to the 29th episode, Ashton will still try to do something for Victoria. We have to stay in Genoa City to protect her, as well as give up everything. After all, who caused the accident? The Newman family thanked Ashton for saving their daughter, but still hoped he would leave Genoa soon. It's possible that Victor suspects that everything was orchestrated by Ashlyn, and it borrows the opportunity to receive forgiveness. Ashlyn's a terrible man, after all. He only thinks about his own interest. Is that what this is, or is it just an accident? Victoria now also does not have too much confidence in her husband. Take the time to keep track of everything. Victoria took too much damage from Ashlyn. Maybe Victoria is the one to blame, and she will face punishment. She cried when she confides in Nikki about everything. Then a loud, strange sound rings and disconnects. Did Victoria hit Ray? and make it all worse. Will Ashlyn help Victor come out and confess if she's really wrong? Victoria is currently living in a torment of believing that she caused everything, but Ashlyn says that the one is wrong is Ray instead of her. How things would turn out, take the time to watch.